Hello and welcome to my next lens review. Today we will talk about this new zoom lens from Panasonic. Don't waste any time and let's get to the unboxing. The first impression is good as always. There are four switches on the side. First of all, we got the zoom lock switch. Then there's the optical image stabilizer, the AF-MF switch, and of course the focus. The build quality is lovely and it feels solid in the hand. Like always, the focus ring is pretty smooth and the zoom ring as well. And this is the lens with the lens hood. The lens is bigger than the 2060 kit lens and the new 85mm prime. But it's a lot of smaller than the 70 to 200 2.8 and it's barely the same size like the 24 to 70. And never mind the focus rings. Let's talk about the specifications of the new lens. Of course, it's an L mount. The lens construction contains 17 elements in 11 groups. So you will receive a beautiful bouquet. The max aperture is 4.5 on 17mm and 5.6 on 300. The filter size is 77. It is 148 millimeter high and it weighs about 800 gram. Of course, it is dust and splash resistant. It is designed to work in temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees. The price of this lens is about 1350 euro. Let's talk about the focus distances. This is something special on this lens. 54 centimeters is the closest focus distance you can achieve. On 300 it's 74 centimeters. It is like that far away, actually. It's super close. And there is a high magnification of 0.5. What does that mean? Let me show you an example. I shot this microphone in different focal lengths. The high magnification allows you to keep the subject big in the picture. That's a huge plus. Let's talk about the optical stabilizer. The lens got the highest industry standard of 5.5 stops on a 5-axis dual IS version 2. So what does that mean? I shot a lot of pictures handheld and I shot a lot of videos handheld. Even if you zoom in the whole range, you will get stabilized shots. That's pretty unique on the market. Optimized for full frame systems realizes high efficiency correction control. The industry's top-level compensation performance can be used in video shooting, compatible with Boost IS function. With all these facts combined, it's a powerful zoom lens. It's lightweight and compact. It's perfect for sports, wildlife and travel photographers and filmmakers. Let's talk about the image quality. There is a high resolution, smoothly focused radiation, beautiful bouquet, soft light reproduction, great close-up capabilities, and lens got the least possible vignetting. And there are no onion rings. You won't find them in the bouquet of the lens. 11 diaphragm blades ensure a rounded aperture shape. The bouquet itself is seamless, soft and creamy. You will receive this beautiful star effect because of the geometrical order of the glasses. In my eyes, this is a high quality and affordable combination for all purposes. If you're going to travel and shoot landscape photography and need a wide angle lens, just use the kit lens of 20 to 60. You're going to shoot wildlife, you will receive the 300 mm It's a perfect combination, like I said, it's affordable and lightweight. 
the whole building. This is all you need for travel. This is all you need for going out to shoot in the nature. And as you can see, it fits in every backpack. I guess you will be more than happy with this combination. Not only photographers will love this lens. Due to its optical stabilizer, every filmmaker got the boost option and uh, will love shooting handheld videos even on a zoom lens. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my test footage. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you want me to do more videos like this, just subscribe. My name is Chris Cooper. Have a nice day.